Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and I hope this video gives you lots of money-making Forex trading ideas. In this video I'm going to show you how traders have become incredibly wealthy by becoming experts at identifying turning points in the Forex market. Now why is that skill so important? Firstly, identifying turning points in the market gives you great entries into the market, but more importantly, they also give you great exits out of the market. One of my mentors have always told me you don't make money when entering the market, you make your money when you are exiting the market. Exiting is most one of the most purely developed skills Forex traders have. Now in our forum we have a free turning point course. It's called the simple and easy seven ways to identify turning points in the Forex market. As I said it's freely downloadable. The link is on the chart provided but if you want a clickable link then use the link that is provided in the description of this video. Now one of the things about forex trading is that you don't need to be 100% correct all the time. You can get unbelievably wealthy from having a 60% success rate. Now what you're going to see today will give you that edge that you need to get the 60 to 80 percent success rate. Now professional gamblers go to the casino because they have an edge over the casino. They have developed a technique that gives them better odds than the casino has. Now that's the same with forex trading. You want an edge that gives you great odds to beat the forex market. So let's have a look at what's included in this book. There's ways of using volume to identify turning points. There's ways of using candlesticks, a momentum indicators, invisible support and resistance, a visible support and resistance, exhaustion points, and time of day principles. So the, you learn a lot about turning points in the market from this particular book. Today I'm going to be focusing on momentum and I'm going to give you some ideas and examples of how people have made lots of money using really simple and safe turning point signals. Now the one thing about turning points is you need to identify them. So we have a an indicator that's called the good vibrations indicator and it identifies turning points, historical turning points in the market so that your eye can easily see these turning points and that's quite important because you need to know the vibration rate of the currency that you're trading and the vibration rate of that currency within a particular time frame. So you can't go for a 200 pip target if the vibration rate of the currency is only 100 pips. So knowing the vibration rate is very, very important and this is what this indicator provides. Again, if you want to download this indicator, use the link provided. It will also be provided on the top right hand corner of your video right now, as well as in the description of the video. Okay, so on your screen you can see a chart of the Euro USD. I've loaded the good vibrations indicator, which gives us the size of the trends created by the various turning points. You can see they're quite sizable. They vary between 300, 200 and 100 pips. And I have loaded two simple indicators, the RSI indicator with a setting of four and then the stochastic indicator with a setting of five, three and three. And then what I've done is I've drawn lines through the turning points and then into the indicator so that you can see what the indicator shows at the time of a turning point. So let's look at the stochastic indicator first. It has a blue line which is actually the reading of the stochastic and then it has a red line which is an averaging line of the stochastic reading. When the blue line crosses the red line from the top it's a sell signal and when it crosses the red line from the bottom it's a buy signal. Now the trick here is to only take transactions when they are in the overbought and oversold environments. By that I mean the indicator has levels and when it goes over the 80 level that is overbought and that is the environment we can trade or if it goes below the 20 level uh, that is again an environment that you can trade. So let's have a look at some of the signals that get created and again remember we're not looking for 100% success we're looking 
at 60 to 80 percent success to get really really wealthy from forex trading so here's the first turning point um, uh, quite a big turning point the stochastic has gone overboard come down cross the red line so that is a quite a good entry for that particular and that's quite a nice trend that could be caught now the stochastic doesn't go oversold it only goes oversold over there it then makes a signal but it is too quick now this is quite common with momentum indicators they do give signals sometimes too quick now there's two ways of dealing with that you can either have a big stop because sooner or later the, the the price will turn it's just that the signal came too early you can have a big stop or you can stop yourself out very quickly and then re-enter when the true signal comes through so in this case it generated and there was a lot of lot of opportunity to get out at a break even level the second signal came when it went oversold went over the red line and as you can see a really great uh, trade was caught there the next trade happened over here a little bit early again you've got your break even uh, situation if you if you wanted to get out early but if you had a good stop no problem it would have been nicely positive and again at the bottom here went over sold crossed over a little bit early again a little bit early so you, what you do is you've got to hang around and wait for the second signal to come here's a really clean signal over overboard crossover and a nice downward trend was caught there and the next one too nice upward trend was caught after going over sold and then the next one too this was a particularly good one uh, over over bought came back and uh, and created a sell signal the next one was even better in that it also created a nice buy signal so on the whole those are the kind of signals that you need to follow you have to wait until they are overbought and oversold in those environments and that is a safe environment and what so what if you have two or three losses your profits make up for those losses very quickly but you can see the success rate is re relatively high then let's have a look at the rsi indicator very similar type of indicator i've set it for four to give us quite uh, sensitive signals and the same applies to the rsi indicator it has to go overbought come back and then it it has to cross this 80 line that's basically the signal so it goes overbought crosses the 80 line from the top or it goes oversold and crosses the uh, 20 line from the bottom that's a, that's the basic rsi signal but again you need to be patient and wait for it to go overbought or oversold before you start trading so let's have a look at the entry on this particular one and and there's a nice one it went overboard came back over the 80 line and that provided a great signal there nothing much happening after that nothing much and then again now here's an example of an early signal went overboard came back and the signal happened right about there and as again there's chance to get out at break even but if you stick around with a big stop you can still get nicely positive the second signal overboard came back and that provided a really good trend to make a lot of money in again the signal here too early it went uh, overboard came back and you entered over here and again lots of opportunity to get out at break even if it's not working out you just get out at break even and that will sort that one out here's another signal here overboard didn't quite cross overboard and then it crossed and you can see absolutely fantastic trend that was caught there and let's just move on and see if anything else happened here yeah again a slightly early signal again the stop should have saved you and you could have gone nicely positive in the end that was a nicely positive signal again early signal see the early signal there and then the the second one uh, a little bit later and a really successful trade now how do we get rid of those early signals now what, one way of getting rid of it is use, using a trend line when trading the rsi so in in other words rather than taking that crossover you take a trend line crossover like that and that will provide safer signals uh, for instance there's a signal there over here signal there over here now here's a particularly good one because it's it's filtered out that 
uh, loss over there by waiting for a trend line violation. So that's one way of filtering out those uh, uh, those and you you don't lose much by filtering it out in that way. So that's a, another idea that you can do, try on the RSI. But as you can see, remember you're only looking for a 60% success rate. So don't worry if there are the occasional losses. Find ways of managing them either with bigger stops or smaller stops to get out of them a lot faster. Try and get out at break even if it hasn't worked within two or three candles. That Those kind of things can help you a long way. But I hope I've given you some really good ideas to identify turning points in the market. It is essential that you have the skill because as I mentioned earlier, we don't only use it for entries, we also use it for exits. And also a lot of these signals that you've seen today are leading signals. In other words, you get into the trends very, very quickly. And this allows you to catch the really strong part of the trend. Now, before we end the, uh, the video, I just want to show you another tool that I have that identifies the overbought and oversold environments for me automatically. So I don't have to watch hundreds of charts to identify them. It identifies them for me. It's called the 360 degree indicator. It looks at the whole market and then will tell you in which time frame and which currency the overbought and oversold environments occur using a number of indicators. Now on your screen you can see the RSI currently is giving some overbought and oversold signals or warnings for them and the other thing is that what's nice about this indicator it has alerts that will wake you up if you're sleeping soundly and say look you need to be trading now and that kind of thing so it has those kind of facilities and you can use various uh, uh, indicators uh, i've got the rsi up there now the cci as you see the cci is really generating some uh, good trades at the moment and it will identify the potential trade so it actually flashes a message potential trade potential trade and you'll get a message on that particular one uh, the macd uh, quite a few potential trades occurring right now and uh, then the ma oh there'll be a lot there because uh, the the market is trending at the moment so uh, so this indicator is pretty this indicator is really good because it saves so much time you don't have to watch the screens you just watch this indicator this uh, table that I've got on the screen and it will tell you when you need to watch the screen and when you I do identify it you click on the currency and it will open the screen for you automatically and you can have a look at what's going on so this tool is also pretty good and again simply use the link that's provided on the slide or or use the clickable link in the description of this video also remember to download the totally free course on finding turning points in the market you will get quite a number of ideas to make you a competent and safe forex trader thanks for watching this video if you've liked it please give it a like if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and click the bell but most importantly, share this video. You can do this in many ways. Message your friends, send them emails, or share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and those kind of places. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.